Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a full adder. And uh, this here is just a demonstration of what it does and uh, sort of how it works to get your mind in it so you're not just building something and you don't know what it really is. Uh, I'm going to build it in a minute, but first, it's just a mock up. or well, not mock up, this all works. This is a full adder here. These three things are full adders. Um, I'm not going to be building this, I'm going to be showing you how to do it and you know I'm going to show you every gate you need. Uh, it's just two half adders, each half adder is made out of three gates. So it's not that, it's not very complicated, it can get big unless you squash it into something like this but this is a bit hard to look at and work out. Uh, you can just get these designs off the wiki, this one. I only used it because it's quite narrow. But like I say, it's just a mock up. The outputs go into this uh, decoder here and uh, that goes into an encoder I think that's the right term for both of them for this seven segment display now then to explain each each adder has two inputs you call them A and B, you call them whatever you want but they have two inputs at the front they have um, a carry in and a carry out what a carry out does is pretty much if you have one signal here, I'll turn this on Bam, there's one, I get one output at the end. If I flick that again, it's going to turn off and it's going to carry out. Because these only deal with one, one input, one output. If you give it two, then it carries out. There you go, give it two, it carries out into the next adder. Right now this only has one input, so it goes out. Because this is, because this is um, straight after this, so I've linked it up, so it goes to two. That's how this has worked. This one's obviously four. Because of the way this works, if I flick this switch, it's now got two inputs, so it's going to carry out into four. Now we've got one and one, so that's two. If we add two, get four. It's that simple, really. Um, I haven't linked eight up, otherwise I'd flick four and eight would pop up. But if I did this, I'd get a carry out. This would go into the next adder, which would be eight. And um, obviously, I couldn't, I couldn't bother to do that. Really, it's a lot of explaining. Well, it's a lot of demonstration for a simple explanation. If we go back here, now you notice there's two. Go back to one. It still works normally, even without it carrying out. I could still get three. Uh, I could add. I haven't got seven on there, but I have got five. So one and four is five. I've got six. Oh, what have I done? Not bad. There we go. I've got six instead of eight. I was trying to get there. Do um, go back to two plus two is four. And that's that. That's that's pretty much how adders work. You might think, oh, I probably don't need this. So I can just stay with this and have a few switches, and it does the same thing. But this is how you sort of you can add and divide, or not divide, but add and subtract. You put you put information through this. This will be your first sum. The second line could be your second. You know, you can do this, 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 and then you can say plus this, this, and this. That's what all that's for. Right now I'm going to go over here and show you how they're built. Got two lines here already. Now your first two inputs link into two gates. One's a NAND gate, which is a AND gate with um, an inverted output. So when, when it's triggered, instead of turning the torch on, it turns the torch off. That's all it does. And an OR gate pretty much says if one of these are, if any one of these are on, just send power through it anyway. Both are on, send power. So, all right, start off. Can have our AND gate, or our NAND gate, sorry. Do that out here. Like I say, this won't be very pretty. This is just to show you exactly how it works. And there's an AND gate. Simple as that. These turn off, that turns off. And we'll do our OR gate right here. Let's connect these up first. And there's that. And there's that. Connect this one out here like so. And 
through this over there, little bridge. And there we go, now they're both connected, both need to touch one of these. And you think, why, why don't we just connect these two lines here for the OR gate? Why do we need an OR gate if, you know, if one's on, it's always on. It doesn't matter if they're both on, it's on. Well, if you turn one on and both lines are connected, you're going to turn this NAND gate on with just one switch instead of needing two, which is what it's there for. I'm going to add a repeater here so we actually get power out of that. Now these two gates go into a just a regular AND gate, so nothing crazy. So AND gate, torch, 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 connect that up there, and that's that, that's, that is a half adder. And uh, by that it only sort of does half the job, there we go, one is one, that's our output for one, but one and one, two, you know, can't really do anything with that. We need a second half adder. If we want um, to add a carry out and also have a carry in. Now another half adder is exactly the same thing. Exactly the same, we're gonna have two gates going into an AND gate here. The only difference is where the inputs come from. So we have our two inputs here, we call it A and B. For the second one, we can call this, this here, this output will be our new input. So we call that A and the carry in from another adder's carry out will be our second input, so we call that B. Right, so first off we'll make another NAND gate. So NAND gate. Oh. There we go, there's our NAND gate. Make our OR gate. We'll connect this up like so, and uh, I think I'll move this back a bit actually. And I'll move this all back so it fits a bit better. So about that. And like I said, it's not very pretty, but it's just to um, show you exactly exactly what you're getting. And there we go. Add our OR gate. And let's just build a bridge for our carry in line to make it to this NAND gate. Like I said, that's the second input. And obviously, it's going to go to our OR gate. And we'll just call this our second input. This is the carry in. I'll show you where our carry out comes from in a moment. Now we add our last AND gate here. And you go over that. And there's that. Okay, so it's exactly the same, but like I said, this is our this is an input and this is an input now. So instead of these two, we have this and this. It still works the same. Still one light. I haven't quite reached that. There we go. One light turns it on. Turn two on. Oh, nothing. And this will work the same if we still have just the one on. Just one on that works. So we get our carry in line. Boom. Turns off because obviously one and one is two. <coughs> this only has one output. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Something I'm afraid of. Right, anyway. To get a carry out line, we need it to carry out whenever we flick two switches or we just have two inputs in general. Now to do that, we have um we need to connect these AND gates or NAND sorry. Because remember this bit makes it a NAND gate, but we still have a regular AND gate here. So there we go, if this line turns on, we know we've flicked both switches. The same over here. If this line turns on, it knows we know we have an input from over here and an input from over here, so we need to carry out. And these go into their own OR gate. So, yep, yeah, another OR gate. Nice and straightforward. So 
So there we go. If we flick two switches, we have our carry out. Let's uh, just take one off. Uh, how did that happen? All right, anyway. There we go. Flick one off. There's that. Now, if we add a second one again, that turns off. We get our carry out. No matter what, we're going to have our carry out if we have two inputs. That's what the second adder is for. That's what it does. And all this is pretty much what's in that line over there. It's just a matter of squashing gates in to fit your needs. So one more time, I've got a NAND gate and an OR gate. Both of these go into a regular AND gate, which goes into another NAND gate, and an OR gate, which goes into an AND gate. And the second input for the second set of gates is um, a carry-in, which is another adders carry out all this line here so this is what would be going into here now this doesn't look pretty at all I know but it's just so you can see what's going on and, um, I hope that's helped um, leave any questions in the comments um, I'll try and answer them best I can and, uh, I hope that explained everything if not if you're having a bit of trouble just understanding why one on one to go along to the next adder. Well, it's all binary. If you don't really know binary, then this tutorial probably didn't help you at all. And uh, best look into it. Binary is quite easy. Uh, I might do a video on it, might not. Like I say, it's pretty easy to work out. So, anyway, give it a like and a favour if it's helped. And uh, sub if you want to keep up to date with any new videos. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.